Hey there, my name is Julie, a fan balzer, and I'm an artist living outside of Boston. And I love to use my scan and cut machine to create all kinds of tools for me to use here in the studio, like stencils, stamps, screens, all kinds of things. In this video, I want to share one of the secrets as to how I create really unique shapes in Canvas Workspace. I'm here in Canvas Workspace Online, and a tool that we don't really talk about that often, but that is super powerful, is the Path Tool. It's right here. You can see it has these little nodes, and then that's a path that connects them, right? So if I click on that, what I'm able to do is click on a point, and then you can see this path extends out from it, and I can bring it anywhere I want, and create my own unique shapes. And as soon as I connect, see how that sort of clicks on? When I connect to the beginning, now I have a clear and enclosed shape and the path tool automatically deselects and I go back to the selection tool, right? And now let me just color this so that you can see it a little bit better. But now I have this wonderful, unique shape that I can use however I want. I can make a stencil, use it for paper cutting, whatever it is. But the path tool isn't just about straight lines. So let me go ahead and hit the delete key to delete this out. And let's try this again. So I'm selecting the path tool. Now, yes, I'm clicking and I'm clicking. But now look what happens if I click and drag, you can see that I'm getting a curve. And when I, you know, bring it in, it's less of a curve. When I bring it out, it's more than a, more of a curve. And then I can keep curving with the next one again by holding down and dragging while I'm clicking. And of course, connect to that original. And now you can see I've got another unique shape. So if you want to create your own custom, let's say, stencil shapes or designs for greeting cards or quilt squares or something that I like things that are a little bit wonky, for instance, that's my personal style. So I might not want a beautiful clean shape. I might want something that's a little bit different, but I want to be able to repeat that over and over. Well, the path tool is going to be your best friend for doing something like that. So let's see, let's make a couple different shapes here. So I'm going to grab this. And again, if I click just flat, it's just going to be straight, 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 straight. You get the idea. That is a completely, all the sides are straight. If I click and drag, oops, I have to select the path tool. If I click and drag, 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 and then reconnect there, you can see now I have my own unique kind of stone shape, which is super fun. And of course you can organize these and layer them the same way that you would with anything else. So let me again color this so that you can see how these are all different. So let's go ahead and use the fill tool to color them. So now you can see I've got all these kind of fun, unique shapes, which again, I can stretch and grow and shrink and rotate and do everything that you would do with a normal shape of any kind. So again, I can select this pink shape and this red shape. And now let's go to the edit menu and let's just separate wherever they overlap. And now you can see I have one, two, three pieces. So now that's some more fun that I can arrange. You could certainly make some really cool collage pieces. I think this might become a neat custom um, stencil or mask for me. I can overlap all four pieces now, select them all, edit, weld them. And now I've got a super cool shape that I can do something with. You know, it's really a lot of fun to play around and see what you can come up with. Ta-da! So here is my beautiful custom shape that I created using the path tool. And then of course, once I had created each of these little shapes, right, I was able to treat them like any shape in Canvas Workspace. And I was could weld them, I can divide them, and I made this huge 
I don't know, is it a paper snowflake? Is it a decoration? Is it a stencil? All I know is that it's something that came out of my imagination and my hand and I made it thanks to Canvas Workspace and the path tool, and you can too. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will check out more by visiting my website at juliebalzer.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.